Did you know that there is a top of Lake Michigan? Well, one small town in the UP claims they're it and they're working to get the word out. Corey Adkins explains in this week's Northern Michigan in Focus. The top of the lake, just a peaceful place to come and visit and have a good time. The small town of Nobbin Way on US 2 in the UP is mostly a drive through town. People speed through, sometimes too fast. I like the way you said that drive through community. We've been talking for years and years and years if we could just get them to slow down through town. But the next time you head that way, you may want to stop and listen up all you Instagrammers and selfie takers. Photo op, that was our big thing, is to make it a photo op. So once it gets out on social media and things, hopefully it becomes a photo op. By the dawn's early light. Novenway sits at the very top of Lake Michigan, and last Saturday they dedicated this monument to their claim to fame. Well, this is another attraction to hopefully they will stop, not just slow down, they'll actually stop, come here, and then go and to one of the restaurants, the, the gas station, uh, anything else, stop and see what Novenway has to offer. The actual top of Lake Michigan is about two miles east of town, but because there's nowhere to park, it's too dangerous to pull over here. So they put the monument at the marina, and if it wasn't foggy, you could see the top of Lake Michigan and US 2 through this section. Come to the marina, and then when they're coming into the marina, there's the burger shops, the pizza place, the pasty place, uh, the museum, of course. There's other things to do then. And this is a nice, it's got a nice park. There's other things to do here than just the monument that we put up. What so proudly we hailed as the twilight's last gleaming. So there you have it. Stop, grab a selfie, and explore the area. Because Nobbin Way is much more than a drive through town. Oh, it's awesome. We, like I said, we've been doing, working on this for six years and hit many roadblocks and to finally see it all come together, it's just such a wonderful feeling and hoping that it helps the community. And the home of the brave. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.